All right, here we are in the living room. Praise be God and Mother. Dear Mother and Father, we forgot to start this day with a prayer. I am so sorry. It's all right, honey. It's all ready. It's all, it's all right. Let's go. Praise be to God and Mother. We thank you so much for this beautiful day, and we want to serve you in the best way that we can. And um, show you our love and appreciation. We can walk and pray. Right. Okay. Yes, you can do that. Right. Uh, and solitaire, the only game in town. And every road that takes him, takes him down. Is standing in his underwear. He is playing solitaire. He's got to put those more. I oh, know, I know. Don't get on him today about anything. Right, okay. He made the kitchen is nice and clean. He does make sure that he sets everything up as best as he can for me to come into this kitchen. Right. Oh. It's not easy. All right, honey, so. Um, Okay, so we want to put nutritional yeast in this, so we got to ask him for, for the yeast. Okay, now you have on your mind what? Okay, we're looking at tomorrow's menu. Honey, you're already dropping things. All right, I'm sorry. Don't throw things. All right, John's going to yell at me. It's because things are falling. Hi, Maisie. Mm. Hi, little chicken head. Mm. Yeah, I'm almost thinking it's better to go handheld in there. What is that a picture of? It's a picture of nothing. Stop getting so paranoid about your body parts. God almighty. You're keeping this camera on. Hey, you could take that thing off your shoulder. All right. You can take it all the way off if you want. All right. Yeah, you don't need that restriction. You don't have to keep a camera on in here. It's all right. You sound exhausted already. I am exhausted already. I wanted to stay in bed this morning. You didn't hear me. Oh, no, no. You were right. I was... All right, so here's we got the broccoli. Let's taste it. Let's think how we can jazz it up. Ooh, mm. Great, I'm dropping it on the floor. <laughs> Macy's looking at it like, what the fuck is this? Mm. Mm, Macy. Mm, that broccoli. I'm telling you, the floor is so clean you can eat off that. Alright, so John today wanted to do broccoli tossed with olive oil or pumpkin oil. I think pumpkin oil. We need pumpkin oil for our bladder every day. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, I should have left it on my shirt. No. No. Don't want that. You don't want me to wear the camera. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So you don't want anything else but the broccoli? Do you want corn? Do you want... What do you want? What do you want of the dehydrated goods? Typically, I just want broccoli. All right. Broccoli it is. Now, tomorrow, I'm thinking spinach with... Uh, oh, I like that idea. Spinach with pecan... Cream spinach. Mm -hmm. With pecans, yeah. Baby corn. Mm -hmm. And then just sausages with with uh, sautéed onions on the side. What do you think? Mm -hmm. It sounds absolutely divine. Mm -hmm. It does. It sounds divine. All right. No stuffing or anything. No, we got the whole holiday season. We just had stuffing not too long ago. Mm. We got the whole holiday season for stuffing, right? Yeah. So today we're just really having broccoli. Yeah. No, yep. broccoli with the uh, trimmings. Mm. With yeast, a little dehydrated uh, cheddar. Yeah, we use dehydrated cheddar. Maisie's hungry. All right, Maisie, come on. Come on, sweet angel. 
What do we what do we got for you? You want to make some uh, some crab salad? <laughs> John. Take the we'll make some crab salad. Come on. Let's feed Maisie. All right. There you go, sweetheart. Crab meat salad. We could have kippers too. You want kippers? No. If we're gonna have something, we're gonna have crab. Come on, Maisie. Maybe she has food open in the fridge. That would be great. Oh, we didn't take any of that turmeric stuff. Oh, I know. oh, she does have food open in the fridge. All right, great. My wheelchair is caught again. Fantastic. It's a great life. The best. Oh, there's some cheddar cheese. I don't, John, I don't want to fill up on, on this cheese. It's a waste. We have some shrimp cocktail. Ah, all right, all right. What, Maisie, watch out. Oh, damn it. All right, get her fed. This is so crazy with this cat. Come on, Maisie. Here, eat this. I just, you know, I can't, I can't think straight and the fucking shrimp is leaking. Bring the large water inside. Oh no. All right, honey, come on. Buck up. It's not so bad as all that. Oh, so we're having crab meat and we're having shrimp cocktail. Yeah. We'll have shrimp cocktail right now for breakfast. I just took a shower and now there's shrimp juice on me. You fucking believe this shit? So tomorrow, all right, so what we have to do, oh, there's macaroni, hmm. Did you want to do potatoes tomorrow? I don't, I don't think so. I think we're, I'm just gonna, I think we're just gonna do corn and, and, uh, here's the potatoes though. I mean, we could really, all right. Let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the, the spinach, the situation with the spinach. Take the ketchup out. I want some ketchup on my uh, thing. Yes, dear. Okay, dehydrated spinach flakes. Stuck again. Help me, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ will help you if you're sincere and not just saying it angrily. Dear Jesus, I know you always help me, and I know I'm always complaining, but I'm sorry. That's all right. It's okay. I am sincerely sorry about that. I know. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing, mama. Cause I'll be standing in the thing to check it out. Everybody's got a thing. But nobody knows how to handle it. But just don't you feel so bad. If you get fooled by smiling faces, but don't you ah, but don't you worry about a thing. No, oh, won't you worry about a thing with him, my mind. Cause I'll be standing in the wind to catch you. Yeah. Don't you worry about a thing, no. Uh, don't you worry about a thing. Oh God. La 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 la. Meow 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 meow. meow. Hey, these shrimps look pretty good. Yeah. Generally, they do. Yeah, this is this these wild shrimps. These wild shrimps look really good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And 
the cat's tail is still in the way. And that's the way it goes when you got a cat. Having a tail. Being right there. In the way. No. You want hot sauce in the, in the shrimp? Yeah. We don't have to, honey. You just said it. You just said it. What you could do is you could put a little nail and so it cuts it. I can also cut this cat's tail off and it'll be horrible. Please put a lid on that, honey. They are shrimps after all. I don't even know what that means. Okay. What are we going to do is we're going to boil the potatoes for tomorrow because they're going to go in with the cream spinach thing. All right. That's easy. That's easy to do. Boil them potatoes. And then we'll just put them off to the side and we'll have them for tomorrow. Sound good? Yes. Sounds pretty good. We, we're going to get a lot of our... Hi, Maisie. Are you, are you done being dangerous right now? Because I need you out of here. Yes. You can put that back in the fridge, her food, because she didn't even hardly touch it. All right. But you know what about her? She usually goes back in five minutes. Yeah. Just a touch of that hot sauce. Well, that might have been too much. And she goes, oh, yeah. Maisie, see, she's, she's going back for it. You're right, she's going back for it. Amazing. She just walked away from it and then she's going back. Amazing. Come on now, get away from this chair. <gasps> now I ran over my own foot! Get out of this room, get out! Shit! I do not want to get hurt in this kitchen. Eat that fucking food or get out! Don't yell at the cat, she doesn't know what's going on. She's senile, you know. The cat is, is senile. All right, I'm sorry. You're right. She is senile. I know she is. I recognize it. Ellie was getting senile too. Uh, they they get senile. They do. I'm sorry, Maisie. Don't be mad at Mama. She'd never get mad at you, but she's a little confused. And then you start yelling. I know. I'm so horrible. What's wrong with me? Are my pa are my biological parents senile too? Let's put it this way, they're not getting any, any sharper, okay? They're not getting any sharper. All right, so, why are you telling me this? I mean, it's just the way it is, so. I feel like I'm always being trapped into being angry at them and then I gotta feel sorry. No, it's, it's the nature of everything. You're fine. I, but you know, John, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. I didn't ask for this situation to be what it is. I didn't want this in my life. I did not want it. <coughs> I swear I didn't. Who would want this? Who on earth would want this? What's happened to my parents? I wanted to have a good relationship with them for the rest of my life. And it feels like it's just impossible. And my whole life I was a good daughter. I tried to do everything right. I wanted to, them to be proud of me and happy for me. I couldn't understand why they never were. What is it about this kitchen? All right, easy, honey. Let's take a look and see what, how to make the spinach. I know I'm not trapping you into this side. Just trying to be there for you right now. The holidays are a very difficult time, okay? Yeah, I know. I know that. I tell myself that they don't matter, that the, that the holidays don't matter. Oh, I, I think I broke my toe. I ran over my foot. <laughs> You're not being punished, honey. You're just careless. Don't worry, please. 
Please don't worry. And if you don't want, if you don't want to make crab today, we don't have to make it. All right. I don't know. I don't think that I do. So let's just wait. Let's just let me just wait. Cause it is. I think that the I think the broccoli will really be enough. You know what I mean? All right. Now she's coming out and she's gonna look for that food again. Maisie, come on. You can't, you can't, I, she wants to stay in here with you. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't sit here worrying about what that, any rotten people want to say about you being mentally ill, honey. That's, that's on them. That's on all the creeps out there that wish they were twin flames with John Lennon. That's not you. That's their problem. I'm here to help you save your life. Okay. You know, this smells horrible. It's gall day old garlic is you know, honey, this is this is kind of fucked up, you know. Yeah. Alright, so you gotta soak all this in the in the ping in the thing. Okay. Now we're gonna take a look. Hold on. Maisie, honey, come on. Baby doll, my little senile baby. Come on, sweetheart. Maybe she just wants to be held for a minute. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. You. Do you want to ride around in the chair with mommy? Yeah, she wants to ride. See, she's taking a nice ride with you. Ah, oh, good girl. Can't go in for a ride in mommy's chair. That's fun, right? Hmm. Wee. So she's purring. Mm -hmm. Maisie, do you want to read the ingredients with me? Cover spinach with water. <laughs> Bring to a boil. Drain excess water. Okay, so the spinach is less. We will do that tomorrow. Then we're going to be using butter, lots of butter, lots of um, spices, tons of spices, some oat milk, that creamy oat milk that we have. We will add corn and potatoes. Hi, baby. Do you want to, she doesn't want to get up. She wants to just lay in your arms, Lena. Oh, my baby. My mozzie. You should take a picture of her. I can't reach the camera. Hmm. It's all the way over there, John. And if I move my arm, she'll fall. Mm. She's sitting right on my lap. She's sitting on her breasts, yeah. And she's purring like crazy. Yeah, hi, sweetheart. You could put her in that chair when you're ready to, to cook. Okay. All right, Maisie, I'm going to have to put you in the chair. I got to move the broccoli now. Mm. I'm losing her. I'm losing her, folks. But we do have a comfortable chair for her to find her way. Okay, kitty. There you go. Maisie and the broccoli. Let's get a good shot of that. Hi, Annie. No, she don't want the broccoli. She's going. She liked the lap stuff. She don't want the broccoli. Mm. Okay, so so we're making potatoes, and that will be part of the cream. Yeah, cream, spinach, potatoes, corn, and the sausages are for tomorrow. And that's that's it. We'll do our seafood on Friday. If we don't decide to order sushi on Friday, which I'll, I would do that anytime this weekend. So we got to get sushi this weekend one day. Okay. All right, so we got those sausages, and then there's other ones that I wanted to make. Beso not these. Uh, yeah, these are the breakfast sausages. Where the fuck are the other ones? They're up there somewhere. All right, well, anyway, we got plenty of sausages, and we got... We also have cauliflower rice. Mm, like, we could really go nuts on the vegan thing. Maisie, what are you doing? Now she's just sitting there again. See, this is, like, what she's doing. She's going a little... Not, not nutty. 
Let's see. So my whole, yeah, John's reminding me. My whole life, anytime I had feelings or that I talk, tried to talk to my mother about my feelings or she would call me nutsy. Oh, there goes nutsy again. I was nutsy no matter what was happening with me. Mm. I'm sorry, Maisie. I never mean to call you nutsy. I'm not going to do it again. Nazi, maybe, not nutsy. Yeah, Nazi is more like it for those people. I don't want you feeling bad. I'm not feeling bad. I... You know what it is? I start feeling sorry for myself. And then I get angry at feeling sorry for myself. Because I'm with you, John. I have so much to be grateful for and and happy about. And, you know? Yeah. Oh, I know. We didn't put the rest of the tape on this thing. Well, do you want to do that now, really? If we have time... We'll see. I'll, I'll take it out. In the meantime, you should put some uh, the pumpkin oil in with the broccoli. That's going to be our food today. And we're going to have the, that little bucket of shrimp cocktail. It's just enough. Just like 10 little shrimps. But that, that's plenty. You know, if you, if you know your proteins, you know, that's a... That's packed. Mm. Hey, John. Hey, Lee. Hey, Lee. Hey, Lee. Now I know he's feeling romantic when he calls me Lee. Hmm. Okay, so the best thing to do when someone is really... Your mother's cyber-stalking you, too, so you're going through, you know... You're going through it from strangers and, and people you know. You're the, and, and they don't consider themselves to be stalkers. They consider themselves to be normal. Right. So now we're at the stage they get ignored, they get blocked. Yeah, right. You know, we can block you every which way, honey. Every which way. If we don't recognize your phone number coming in, you're blocked. Right. If we recognize your phone number coming in and we don't want to talk to you anymore, you're blocked. Right. That's all we'll say. Hey, honey. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing just, just great. So we're gonna so we found out that we know how to use this thing. So now we have like a lot of oil containers that I don't know. We don't need. But we threw away the boxes so like we can't even give them as gifts and That's alright though. So the story with pumpkin oil, getting back to product placement, and we buy it we buy it by a big jug that lasts a really long time, organic virgin pumpkin oil. The thing about pumpkin oil is it, it's a natural cure for bladder control problems. Mm. Like a tablespoon or, or, or more a day will help your bladder and you will not. John says I'll no longer have any worries as, as long as I remember to take my pumpkin oil. Now you see that I, I'm terrible I, that I don't do that. Mm. So what we did, but I'm doing it now and I'm going to keep doing it. I always worry about the fat content, but really, yeah. So we're going to put, the, we're, we're making our broccoli, our dehydrated broccoli, like, like popcorn today. We're just doing all the same things that we did with popcorn. I think we're ready, honey. What you have, Maisie, hon? To put the potatoes in, right? Baby, you got to move. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, sweetheart. If you gently make a move, yeah, she'll be all right. If you push her or yell at her, she gets confused right away. I know, honey. Honey, I know you know that about this. I know you know that. I'm saying it for the people out there. They have old animals that, you know, they're losing their patience with. Don't. Because you know what? That'll come back on you. Lena's parents uh, destroyed animals that they couldn't bother to care for after a while. They could have lived happily for another couple of years. And Lena even volunteered to take on the animals and the parents wouldn't let her. No, we're killing them instead. That's what that's what we do. They're our animals. We want to kill them. Even the animal, the, the, the puppy that uh, grew into an old dog, Butchie, the black cocker spaniel that Lena gifted to her parents. Uh, and Lena had just seen the dog the week before and took him on a, on a big road trip to, to Long Island and swimming with him and everything. 
and he was blind and deaf and the happiest little puppy you ever saw because he was with his Lena. And the following week they killed him because he was blind and deaf. Is this ringing any bells, Lena? Because some people in that family are now going blind and deaf. It's what they always feared most in their life. You know why they feared it? Because it's happening now. So they killed that dog before his time or instead of giving him to you to take care of for another, at least another year. And you wanted to. But without your permission and without telling you, and you gave them the dog, paid for him, pure breed, Cocker Spaniel. They killed him. And you found out after the fact. You didn't even get to say proper goodbye. But you did. You did. Because you had him the week before. And you took him on the, the best fucking trip of his life. Blind and deaf, it was the best time he ever had in his life. This is why she is blocked. This is why he is blocked. Those lousy parents of yours are blocked. God bless you for having that. Patience you have had with them, but they are blocked. I am speaking now. I am speaking. Your one. Your one is telling you. I know, honey. Thank you for always sticking up for me. I want to say, too, as long as we're talking about animals, don't... I got that dog from a breeder because my parents were very specific. They just expressed the desire for a pure breed black cocker spaniel. And miraculously, I found them the most beautiful one you've ever seen out on uh, in New Jersey we drove to to get him. But you know what? And I don't want to get into any more of that story because I loved that dog like it was my own. And I regretted my whole life giving that dog to them, not just because of the way he was terminated, but because of the way he could have... He, You took very good care of him a lot when they couldn't be bothered. He was your dog, Lena. He was your dog, and he knew that. Lena wanted them to experience loving an animal the way she loved animals. They were incapable. Incapable. Such a failure on every level. I'm sorry, Lena. I'm sorry, Will. Tone it down. Please don't turn the camera off. Please don't. <laughs> All right, those potatoes, I think, you know, you, you could... I think you could probably just turn them off. All right, and just let them sim sit for a minute. Okay, okay. Jesus. And so, and so, and so. Holidays are upon us. Holidays are upon us. Yeah, Jesus gets mad, you know, when evil is perpetrated on his beloved one. Evil. It's okay, it's okay, do what you want. Do you want to turn the camera off? Yes. <laughs> 